Marty here. So today I have another Louis Vuitton item that I want to share with you guys. I did buy it pre-loved so I did get it very inexpensive that way and I just wanted to share it really quick because I'm really excited that you can actually buy Louis Vuitton items pre-loved in good condition and there are a few places that you could buy it where you can feel safe knowing that your item will be authentic and i will go ahead and link a couple of those places down in the description box if anybody is interested in buying pre-loved and you can feel safe about buying your items as you guys know i did purchase my little favorite pm bag this one right here and of course that is a very small bag and i did want something bigger for every day so i'm not saying that i have a lot of money to spend which is why i did buy pre-loved because i was gonna get a good deal and since it was my birthday my husband did treat me and that is how come i did get it so i've been holding off to do this video for a while now but I am wanting to share it with you guys in case anybody wants to see this bag or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and share it. And it did come in its little dust bag. The lady actually sent me the box and everything. And I did get a really good deal on this bag, like I said, and it was in really good condition. I did go ahead and post a picture of it on my Facebook account. This bag is called the Tiboli PM, so it is the smaller size. They do have an, another bigger size, which is called the Tiboli GM. Now, that one looks a little bit different. It's, it has kind of pretty much the same layout. However, since it is a bigger bag, the straps are a little bit longer so that you can wear it like over your shoulders. And so, of course, the straps, they look a little different right here because they are adjustable. And I did want an everyday bag that was not so big because I am tired of carrying bigger bags. Although I do have bigger ones. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm tired of them. I just wanted a mid-sized bag. And that's what this one is. Now, this one does only come in monogram. It is discontinued. So you can get it in the pre-loved market. This bag is really pretty because it just looks really feminine. I love the pleating right here. It does have these really pretty tabs right here. On this side right here, it does say Louis Vuitton Paris on this tab. And on the back side, it doesn't it's just like a leather tab right here all of these little hardware pieces that are right here do say louis vuitton on them this bag does have little feet and it also has this type of crisscross suture to give it more support to the bottom of the bag and so this is the side of the bag oh by the way i do have a little keychain here which let me remove it because it's in the way this is what the zipper looks like it's really pretty because it does look like a charm it does have the logo on here and so this is a zipper top what i like about this bag is that it does have a really wide opening it's a really big opening and so you don't have any trouble like trying to get your items in and out you just open it and then you can see pretty much everything that you have in there this bag only comes with these two pockets right here it does come with the round one and then the little square pocket that is supposedly a cell phone pocket. It's the older style because I know that the newer ones did have the two rounded pockets right here. They excluded this one and they put two rounded ones, but mine is the older style. And to me, it's fine. It does have that brownish material. You would be surprised what you could fit in here. I know that on video, it's going to look bigger than it actually is. And actually, when I received it, I was quite surprised on how small it was. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger in actuality. I still like it anyway. I think that it's just, it's still perfect. But just so you know, it is a little bit smaller than it probably will come across on the video because... I don't know why video makes things look bigger, which is why I look chubby in real life. I'm real skinny, guys, but you know, things look bigger in video. I'm just gonna stick to that story. This one was in really good condition. It was a little bit patinaed already, which is why the handles and, and all of the vaquera pieces look a little bit more like a honey color and not so light like for instance the strap on my pm looks really light well it's because it hasn't been really exposed to like the sun or anything but with time they do get a little darker and they do patina i do have some tips on how to care for your vaquera and things like that but i will do a separate video on that separately and i will also be doing how i pack this bag because i did find a really 
really good way to stay organized with this bag and uh, and I will go ahead and do a video on that separately but right now I just wanted to kind of do uh, kind of like an unboxing and just show you what the Tivoli PM looks like there's not a whole lot of videos on this let me go ahead and put it on so you guys can see this is what it looks like on me I do carry it this way and this is normally the way I tend to carry it like this anyway but I can work it I guess but um, yes it's mostly intended for you to carry it like this and this is how I carry it this is how it is in proportion to me and I am not a petite person I am short but I am not skinny it's still a good proportion to my body and I'm really happy with it guys if you do decide to buy pre-loved Louis Vuitton, you always have to be really careful because there are a lot of um, replicas out there and some people do say that they are authentic and then they rip you off. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and put a link to a couple of places where I know are reputable and you can feel safer that you will be getting an authentic Louis Vuitton versus a replica. And um, I will say that eBay does have a lot of replicas out there so I was kind of like hesitant to buy it from there. That's not to say that all everybody who sells on eBay has replicas, but I know that there are quite a few. And so that is why I will go ahead and link a couple of places down in the description box where you guys can feel a little bit more secure shopping. So that was everything guys. I just wanted to pop in here real quick, do a kind of like a unboxing kind of, Although I didn't really want to put it in its box because I already flattened it out and put it away. Plus, I don't want to take your guys' time too much taking the item out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that it was helpful for somebody. And until next time, guys, God bless you. Have a really beautiful day. Bye.